So today's activity and tomorrow's talk about cross contour lines. So we started learning about lines with contour lines and then we went to some blind contour line examples and now we're on to cross contour lines. And these two examples are great to show first because it really pulls out the idea, the concept that cross contour lines show the mass or the volume of something. So like this banana for example, it starts out as a contour line drawing, just the outline, but then it looks really flat like a cartoon. So by adding cross contour lines which are parallel to each other, it will really bring out the volume or the mass of this banana. The examples down below, the small examples, show starting with nothing and adding cross contour lines, parallel lines. You can then add value on top of it to really show the volume. This example here looks like it was a piece of cloth, like wrinkled. This is just a sphere. And this one up here looks very, very flat. So your first activity is to practice this by drawing what you see on the left to the box on the right. I apologize that these aren't perfect circles. I just grabbed them off the internet and they look like that. So they're ovals. So go ahead and practice doing these contour lines. These two are done differently. As you can see, a vertical line versus a, a horizontal lines. The way that you do them will be up to you. Obviously, this apple was done with vertical lines, but you could also do it with horizontal lines. I wouldn't use both of them at the same time, though. Choose one or the other, horizontal or vertical. Once you are done with that, you're going to go to the next page, which is a study of a vessel. So whether you choose um, a bottle, a glass bottle, a can, uh, something, a vase, something at your home that holds hold something that's a vessel <clears throat> when you start working with it you have to decide do I want to do my lines vertically or do I want my lines to be horizontal if you're doing something like a glass bottle like mine I would probably stick with the horizontal lines. so to start this one I would do the oval at the top which is right here and then the oval at the bottom There's an oval at the top here with the cork sticking out. This is very rough. I'm not even using my eraser at this point. Once I have all these lines figured out, the contour lines just of the outline of the bottle, I'll then go, go in with my cross contour lines. Um, let's just pretend that this is good to go. Now I'll come across. Now at the bottom of vessel, if the vessel has a rounded bottom, you have to curve the bottom line. It's not straight across. That's incorrect. So maybe I decided to do horizontal lines for this guy and I'll just come across and I'll follow that curve all the way up. And if I follow that curve perfectly all the way up, it should match with this curve up here as well. And then it will get smaller and smaller as I get up to the neck. And then I probably should do the same thing with the cork when it comes up here. So all these lines will continue all the way up through. Take your time. Do the best you can. Uh, tomorrow's examples will include a piece of fruit or vegetable and also a hand study, which will be a little challenging. But I did give you an example of a hand on the previous page and how this artist did the cross contour line. So you can use this as your guide or your example when you do your own hand. Just do, don't copy this hand. Do your, own, do your own gesture with your hand that's appropriate for school. Have fun!